Hey guys, Nayash here. So finally we have stable Android 11 from Pixel OS. Now this ROM is stable to use as daily driver, but it doesn't mean it's perfect. So in this video I will show you what's working, what's not working. And also if you watch this full video, I will also explain you how to install this in your phone. So let's get started. So guys, this process will install the same software that Pixel 4 OS has when it comes to Android 11. So I have been using this room for last 3 days and it's safe to say you can use this as your daily driver, but it's not perfect. So there are few bugs which I will talk later in this video. So this is how the home screen looks when you install this for very first time. Obviously it has a pixel launcher, when you swipe right, you go to your Google Now cards and by default you won't see these swipe gestures. For that, you have to enable that in settings. By default, it comes with three buttons. So the new navigation of this Android 11 is even smoother than previous Android 10. Unfortunately, it's not as smooth as iPhone. <laughs> That's the sad part even in 2020. But the good thing is this screenshot feature. When you tap on that, it will only take screenshot of the particular window. When you tap on screenshot, of course, you can crop it and add it if you want. And then there is one of my personally favorite feature of Android 11, which is you can select from multi-window. You can tap on this select and then you can select any text which is open in the recent menu. Before this, if you want to copy something, you have to open that particular app. And sometimes you can't even copy some text. But with this amazing feature, you can now copy any text from any app. Also, you get this new volume slider. And now let's talk about the quick setting. This is how your quick setting looks in Android 11. And now finally we have screen recorder in stock Android. There are also option with recording your audio and your system audio. So that's good to know finally we have this feature in stock Android. So as you can see in about section this is Android 11 with the latest security of 5th September. And the good thing is you are getting this room with Hydra Plus kernel which is already a very good custom kernel. Hydra kernel will give you amazing battery life and very good gaming performance. Speaking of battery life, I got around 7 hours of screen on time. Now it's not as good as Android 10, but still it won't stop you from using this room as your daily driver. So apart from all the good things, now let's talk about what's not working in this room. The hotspot is not working. I have been trying for last 3 days. No matter what you do, the hotspot is not turning on. So if the hotspot is not the major issue for you, then you can definitely use this room. It might be fixed in the next update. So speaking of updates, if you install this room, you won't get automatic updates. You will have to manually install the next update in your phone. And just because this room is extracted from Pixel phone, some of the features of Pixel phones won't be working in your phone. Just like this swipe fingerprint gesture. Now it is a Pixel feature and it won't work in my Redmi phones. But that's not the deal breaker. But the thing I like most is that you can install any GCam in this room. I personally installed the latest GCam 7.4 and it's working perfectly. Night mode is working, portrait mode is working, astrophotography is working. So if you're into GCam but for some reason if you can't install in your phone, well install this room and try GCam again. And now I will show you how to install Android 11 in your phone. So the only requirement here is you must have a custom recovery installed in your phone. I highly recommend you install Orange Fox recovery. You can use other recoveries too, but personally I prefer Orange Fox. And then you download this Android 11 zip file from description box below. Once you download it, put that in your internal storage. And now we are going to boot into our recovery. So whenever you boot in recovery, the first thing you do is take full Android backup. Let me quickly fast forward that and then you go to wipe tab and wipe everything except internal storage. So once wipe is complete, look at the Android 11 zip file and swipe right to install. So your first boot might take around 5 to 10 minutes. So make sure you wait for that and don't interrupt your phone. So as you can see now I have successfully installed Android 11 in my phone. So like this video if you appreciate my work and I will see you tomorrow.